Hello, we will be discussing our research assessing vertebrate diversity in the Trans-Picos region of Texas. This research was done by Carrie Voss, Regan Keeland, Libby Forsmark, as well as um, Dr. Bush's conservation biology class. So the assessment of biodiversity is critical for effective financially sound conservation strategies. Ultimately, many organisms cannot be detected without the use of methods that minimize the presence of humans. During the 2022 spring interim, the students of Dr. Bush's conservation biology class visited and conducted different forms of sampling across a 20 acre area of Chilingua, Texas, which is located in the Chihuahuan Desert. In order to determine vertebrate density in the region, we used several methods that reduced human presence. We were able to analyze relative species density and detect species that otherwise would have gone unnoticed. By highlighting and discussing the importance of remote-based methods for wildlife surveys, we are able to better implement conservation strategies for the future. For our research, we used two methods of assessing vertebrate diversity. First, we placed 13 motion-detecting game cameras across a 20-acre area of Terlingua, Texas in the Chihuahuan Desert. Both video and picture settings were set on the game cameras. To supplement these surveys, 42 Sherman small mammal traps in two transects across three separate habitats in a dry creek bed along a sand bottom plateau and along a gravel bottom plateau. Two different bait options, plain oats and peanut butter oats were placed within the small mammal traps. Additionally, two sizes of Sherman small mammal traps, small and large, were used across all three habitats. The traps were open from sunrise to sunset, or sunset to sunrise, and data was collected around 8 a.m. Once traps were checked, they were closed for the remainder of the day. In total, we sampled over the course of five sampling nights, which is 210 nights, trap nights. Our results showed that vertebrate diversity was significantly higher than what we visibly could see in the Trans-Pecos region of Texas. Data from the three habitats showed a wide range of species richness. So the dry creek bed showed zero mammals captured. The sand bottom plateau had 26 individuals captured with three separate species identified. And the gravel bottom plateau had 19 individuals with four species. The species diversity plateaued around the third day of data collection in each of the three habitats, which is typical for diversity species collection. Our game cameras detected the presence of approximately four mammal species, including desert cottontails, coyotes, and raccoons, and an undetermined species of kangaroo rat. Neither the, of the desert cottontails or the undetermined species of kangaroo rat were visually detected outside of the traps, nor were identifiable, identifiable tracks ever found. Game cameras also detected the presence of seven bird species, including scaled quail, loggerhead shrike, and blue heron, three birds that were never detected through sight or sound. The first bar graph that we have below the results here shows the type of species um, and the number of individuals present in the trans region that we trapped on. Um, you can see there are a significantly high number of Miriam's kangaroo rats captured compared to the other um, mammals that we captured. And then the bar graph below that shows the estimated mammal community density compared to the average collected um, density of 11.8 individuals. Um, it looks like there's an upward trend in the amount of uh, the population over time, but that's actually just due to random sampling. Um, and each day that we collected showed a different average population size. So our analysis supports that there is greater vertebrate diversity than what is visible by human observation. It's important that humans recognize the presence of species that may not be detectable through human observation in order to gain the full understanding of the diversity within the studied ecosystem. For future conservation biology classes, we hope that non-invasive research into the small vertebrates of the Trans-Pecos region will continue to track population densities and provide insight into the less visible vertebrates living in the area. As long-term shifts in weather patterns, and temperature continue to be altered, it is important to monitor the effects on less observable vertebrates in all habitats. We would like to thank the Concordia Biology Department for providing us with the opportunity to do research in the Trans-Pecos region of Texas, along with Richard and Debbie in the Terlingua Eco Ranch for allowing us to use their land. Additionally, if you'd like to see more uh, pictures from our camera traps, we have a QR code to scan on the bottom of the poster.